Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Top eBay Sports Cars Sales of the Week, 80s and 90s edition. We recap the previous week's top 5 sales from each sport. Unlike our weekly junk wax list, this list has only one restriction on what can be included. But only one sale of each individual card can occupy a spot on this list, so we have no repeats. Let's get started. All right, starting off football this week in the number five position from 1981 tops, we have Joe Montana's rookie card autographed. This is graded PSA authentic and is sold for $12,000. This card has a unique inscription as it's autographed and also says 4-0 in Super Bowls, 11 touchdowns, zero interceptions, perfect. In the number four position, we have the 1994 University of Miami Bumblebee Seafoods Dwayne The Rock Johnson card, graded a PSA 9. This card sold for $15,655. This card in a PSA 9 has a pop of 30, and there are 30 higher graded 10s. This is a record for a PSA 9, as the previous high was only $4,300 from back in December. This card has been going, this card has been really hot lately. In the number three position from 1984 tops, we have John Alway's rookie card graded in a PSA 10. This card sold for $15,865. This is the fourth highest sale for this card as the record is $20,000 from back on December 7th of last year. This card in a 10 has a pop of 176. In the number two position from 1998 Skybox EX 2001, we have Peyton Manning Essential Credentials Now, numbered out of 54 and graded a BGS 9.5. This card sold for $19,588. This card has a low pop of only two in a 9.5 and there are none graded higher. And in the number one position from 1984 Topps USFL, we have Steve Young's rookie card graded in a PSA 10. This card sold for a record $20,999. This card has a very low pop of only 29 in a 10, and the previous high was $15,500 from February 14th of this year. The total of the top five 80s and 90s football cards this week was $84,107. This is down a bit from previous weeks, however the trend is still positive and we'll see what next week brings us. Moving on to hockey in the number 5 position, from 1981 Opeechee, we have Yari Curry's rookie card graded in a PSA 10. This card sold for $2,450, which is the second highest sale for a PSA 10 as the record is $3,627 from February 18th. This card in a 10 has a low pop of only 31. And in the number 4 position from 1981 tops, we have Wayne Gretzky's third year card graded in a PSA 10. This card sold for $2,500 which is another record as the previous high was $2,000 from February 2nd. This card in a 10 has a low pop of only 65. In the number three position from 1980 Opeechee, we have Wayne Gretzky's second year card graded in a PSA 9. This card sold for $4,049. The pop of this card in a 9 is 246 and there are 35 higher graded 10s. The record sale for a PSA 9 is $6,900 and this is from August of last year. In the number two position from 1980 Opeechee, we have Ray Bork's rookie card graded a PSA 9. This card sold for $5,100 and this is a record for a PSA 9 as the previous high was only $2,886 from January of this year. The eye appeal of this card is rated above average by PWCC which means it's in the top 30% for its grade. This card in a 9 has a pop of 137 and there are 31 higher graded 10s. And finishing off in the number one position from 1985 Opeechee, we have Mario Lemieux's rookie card graded a PSA 9. This card sold for $8,999. This is the third highest sale for a PSA 9 and the record is $10,882 from February 6th of this year. This card has a pop of 577 and there are 47 higher graded 10s. 
The total for the top 5 80s and 90s hockey cards this week was only $23,098. This is the lowest total we've had since we started keeping track, as we didn't see a lot of the high grade cards on the list this week. We'll see if some of those end up coming to the market for next week's list and see if we can get those numbers up. Hello Junk Wax Investor community, I'm excited to announce a new affiliate partnership that we have with BCW Supplies. You'll save 10% off your next retail order of sports card supplies. Use the link in the description below and on checkout use the code JUNKWAX10. Even though some of the products I'm ordering are still back ordered, I am planning ahead and I'm ordering enough that I would need for the next year or so, as these orders will be shipped out on a first ordered basis when they do become available. And I would rather get 10% off with this code and wait a bit than to be stuck in the position where I'm paying a markup from resellers. Moving on to baseball in the number 5 position from 1987 Opeachy, we have Barry Bonds rookie card graded at PSA 10. This card sold for $24,000 which would be a record for a 10 as the previous high was $23,350 from February 19th of this year. This card in a 10 has a very low pop of only 36. And in the number 4 position from 1989 Donruss. We have Ken Griffey Jr.'s autograph rookie card, graded a PSA 10 with a 10 for the auto. This card has a pop of 1 and is sold for $25,101. That is probably the highest price ever paid for a 1989 Donruss card. And in the number 3 position from 1993 SP, we have Derek Jeter's rookie card graded at SGC 9.5. This card sold for $27,605. This card in an SGC 9.5 slab has a pop of 7 and there are two higher graded 10s. However, there are no gold labels. And in the number 2 position from 1996 Topps Chrome, we have the Derek Jeter refractor graded in a PSA 10. This card sold for $50,000, which is a huge record for a PSA 10 as the previous high was only $8,500 from May of last year. There's only been three sales on record for a 10, and this card has a very low pop of only 9. And in the number one position for baseball this week, from 1980 tops, we have Ricky Henderson's rookie card, graded at BVG 9.5. This card sold for $95,000 and has a very low pop of only 9 with one higher graded pristine 10. Wow. The total of the top 5 80s and 90s baseball cards this week was $221,706. This is the second highest total but it's down from last week's $327,000. Both of these high totals were headlined by a 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson rookie cards, so he has been definitely leading the charge of the 80s and 90s cards recently. Moving on to basketball in the number 5 position, from 1980 Topps, we have the Larry Bird Magic Johnson rookie card with Dr. J sandwiched in the middle. This card was graded at BVG 9.5 and is sold for $65,600. This card has a pop of 25 and there are two higher graded pristine 10s. In the number 4 position from 1998 Fleer Tradition, we have the Michael Jordan Playmakers Theater numbered out of 100 and graded at BGS 7. This card sold for $65,655. The subgrades for this card are 9.5 for centering, 7.5 for corners, 7 edges, and a 6.5 for surface. This is actually the lowest graded version of this card and it has a pop of 2. There are 38 higher including 10 9.5s and 1 pristine 10. In the number 3 position from 1986 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan's iconic rookie card graded at PSA 9. This card sold for $66,766. This card in a 9 has a high pop of 2768 The record in a 9 is $93,999 from just back in February 9th. This card was graded a PWCC Exceptional Eye Appeal, which is the top 15% for its grade. And there was actually another PSA 9 that sold on the same day for only $49,100. So we're seeing a bit of a pullback on the Michael Jordan rookie cards. 
and in the number two position from 1996 Skybox EX2000, we have Kobe Bryant's rookie card graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $87,100, which is a huge record for a PSA 10, as the previous high was $54,108 from February 1st. This card in a 10 has a very low pop of only 24. And in the number one position from 1984 star, we have Michael Jordan's rookie card graded at BGS 8.5. This card sold for $92,500. The subgrades for this card are 9.5 for surface and edges, 9 for corners, and 8 for centering. The pop of this card in an 8.5 is 237, with 71 graded higher, with the highest grade being 3 9.5s. Another strong week for basketball this week, with the total of the top 5 80s and 90s cards being $377,621. Looks like we might be seeing a bit of a pullback in the market on some of the really hot basketball cards. This would actually be a good thing because it's a sign that we're in a healthy market and not in a bubble. Moving on to the other sports category, and we have a tie for fourth position, and we actually have a newcomer to the list from 1992 Grid Formula One. We have Michael Schumacher's rookie card, graded at PSA 10. This card sold for $8,000, and this is the first time I have ever seen this card, and it has a very low pop of four. There's only been one previous sale of a PSA 10, and that was from May of 2020, and that sale was for $100. It'll be interesting to see if we see more of this card in the future. Also in the fourth position from 1986 Panini Supersport UK, we have Mike Tyson's rookie card graded in a PSA 8. This card sold for $8,000 and is the second highest sale for a PSA 8 as the previous record is $9,000 from February 7th. This card has a pop of 20 and there are 16 higher graded 9s and 3 gem mint 10s. In the number three position from 1997 Browns Boxing, we have Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s rookie card graded at PSA 9. This card sold for $11,100 and is a record for a PSA 9 as the previous high was only $7,000 from January 29th. This card in a 9 has a pop of 35 and there are 49 higher graded 10s. In the number two position from 1987, A Question of Sport UK, we have Mike Tyson graded in a PSA 10. This card sold for $11,877, which is the second highest sale for a 10, with the record being $12,844 from January 27th of this year. This card in a 10 has a low pop of only 16. And in the number one position this week, from 1996 Sports Illustrated for Kids, we have the Tiger Woods Rookie Card graded at BGS 9.5. This card sold for $24,000. The subgrades for this card are all 9.5s with a 9 for edges. This card has a pop of 106 and there are 12 pristine 10s and 2 black labels graded higher. The total of the top 5 80s and 90s other sports category this week was a strong $62,977. Definitely seen some interesting mix of cards in this category. And the grand total of the 80s and 90s cards this week from all five categories was $769,509. Another strong week and the trend line is still continuing in the upward direction. Can't wait to see what next week brings. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.